don't choke yourself. I really like you. You just about got it down. Holy cow. What a beast. So in my line of work, I get all kind of funny calls. People call me to come remove some kind of crazy animal on their property or to come rescue something. But this was definitely one of the better ones. Moose, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Load up. Get up in there. So we just got a call for a big, big Nile monitor from what it sounds like in um, some lady's generator room here locally, Martin County, and uh, me and Moose are gearing up to haul ass over there right now. Hopefully get this thing and uh, hopefully it is a Nile monitor. So I was on it. I went straight to their house and um, I got ready with a trap uh, brought moose with me at the time moose was my lead everything dog lizards ducks hogs you name it he was on it and um, he had captured a Nile monitor for me once before so I figured he'd be a good tool to bring along to have ready in case this thing escapes my grasp or I don't even get a hold of it and I need him to track it down find it and catch it for me let's take a little peek at him Oh yeah, <laughs> beauty. That looks like a big savanna monitor. Big boy. Big. Maybe a big black throat. Is Gonna that be... the biggest one you've seen? As that species, yes. <laughs> I've caught a larger Nile monitor than this, but um, as far as, I think he might be a black throat, that, that's the biggest. So as soon as I laid eyes on it, I knew what it was. Uh, it was either a big white throat or black throat monitor, and that made me very excited. Uh, I knew this was a species that could A, be ven very dangerous for our state if not captured, and B, it's just a cool species for me to catch. I've never caught one, and I haven't heard of anyone that's caught one. So it's definitely an exciting moment, and um, I know I can use it for education. I got him. And he is strong. He's got you. He is strong. Um, oh, God, he's strong, huh? So I actually work in team with the homeowner. He helps me out a little bit. Um, I get the lizard into some spots that I just need an extra pair of hands to hold on to the tail while I work the head. If I can maybe push him back out that way, I can, I can work with him a little better. Um, can you grab his tail? Uh, maybe. Do you see it? I got his head so he won't bite you. If you can reach under that generator just a little bit, and grab that tail. Okay, got a tail. Nice job. Okay, now I'm gonna let go of his head. Yep. Kind of keep him where you're at, and I'm gonna come get that tail. Okay. Yeah, he's fine. This thing is important. So yep. It looks nice job, boys. Nice job. We got him now. We got him now. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> He's a strong son of a gun. Give me this arm. Give me this arm. Come on. I got it. Oh. He's got his tail. I'm holding the cell phone. Yep. You're good. Just keep doing what you're doing. God, he's strong. You want me to grab his tail over here? Nope. Okay. Come on. Come on. Mm. Golly! I think if I grab him here, I think we can drag him right out. Okay, Tr try to, or hand me his tail. Hand me his tail. Okay, you got I promise he grabs everything with his damn arms. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
We got him, boys. He is a stud. He is a stud. Now, I'm going to put him in a bag. Absolutely. While I'm celebrating the capture of this thing, it's almost a bittersweet moment, you know. It really goes to show uh, the shape our state is in. Uh, we have a lot of people down here that own these different reptiles that just aren't responsible. And uh, they get either released or they escape into our native ecosystems and they wreak havoc. Our native wildlife has no natural defenses against them and they're just a buffet. Uh, these big lizards, they can get them in their homes, in their holes where they're hiding or out when they're out and about and hunting. And from the looks of it, this lizard here was very well fed. And after speaking with some of the neighbors, they all saw a drastic decline in the rabbit, squirrel, and other native animal populations. And this is just one lizard. So if something like this was able to reproduce and start a population like the Nile monitors have, it just goes to show the, the death it will leave behind it, you know? Um, all the native wildlife it will eat and our native wildlife is already struggling here in Florida. The last thing we need is one of these voracious predators hunting them down and putting more pressure on the population. So the wild monitors I've caught are a lot more to handle than this. A lot more aggressive. They don't hold still. And uh, while this guy isn't necessarily nice, he definitely don't behave like a wild monitor. Uh, so when I first caught him, he tried to bite me a couple times, and it's like dropping a textbook on a tile floor, like it'll hurt you bad. But he doesn't really try to bite me anymore. We've kind of developed a somewhat of a relationship. So now that he's a rescue, we got him here on the ranch. He eats all kind of different food. Um, a lot of times I'll come in and feed him some of the different invasive species I shoot on different hunts and removals. He, uh, he enjoys the spoils of spoils of battle from us. And it's a, you know, a much different life here than what he was living. He was living in the wild, eating our native wildlife. Here, we have him contained. He's not doing any damage, and I actually use him for education now. So I'll bring him around the state. I do educational shows. I'll bring him out and show people what happens and what's out there in the Florida wild. Um, you know, that you don't want to release your pets. A lot of times they'll survive in the wild, they'll eat our native wildlife, or they'll end up getting killed by someone like me, and you're, you're not really giving them a better life, but you're damaging our state. And uh, it's a big problem we have here in Florida, and he's, he's the living proof of it. For us to go out and have something like this on the side of a house, surviving, eating our wildlife, is pretty, pretty wild. Um, this is a species from Africa, and they get a little bigger than this even. And if we have something like this reproducing in our Florida wildlands, it would be a huge problem. Thankfully, I was able to capture him before he was able to find another mate and reproduce. Um, this is not yet a established breeding population, thankfully, um, you know, but if I didn't catch him, it was possible that he could start a new invasive species here in Florida, a new breeding population, and that would be a very, very bad thing for our state. So a big part of using him for education is, you know, to use him as the living proof that at the very best case scenario when someone releases their pet in the wild, it's going to survive, but it's going to eat our native wildlife and dance. At the worst, it's going to have a terrible death die out there alone, scared, or it's gonna get shot and killed by someone like me. So you're not doing your animal any favors by releasing it into the wild and starting a new life like that.